Joe from Coding Blocks here, back with a, another mini code adventure. The idea is to demonstrate fun, educational couch projects that give you a chance to experiment with new languages, libraries, and getting things done while also keeping the cool factor super cool. This time I'm trying something a little bit different. I didn't prep for this video, so 90% of it is me working through examples and trying to figure out exactly what I'm doing, uh, kind of like real coding. So uh, for the topic this time, we are programmatically generating music. And I've tried to do this a few times from scratch in other languages over the years and never really made it very far. But since this is a couch project, I spent a couple of minutes searching for libraries and settled on one called Scribbletune. Scribbletune provides an elegant API for declaratively generating MIDI. I'm only scratching the surface of the capabilities here. I basically just run through the examples to see how they work and then end up sticking with the uh, final example uh, using chords and rhythm and um, take it from there and tweak it. And initially I thought I would create a website to play the file, but once I opened, up, opened the MIDI file up in GarageBand, I realized that I might actually use this and it was kind of fun, so I just stuck with that. Throughout this video, you'll hear me kind of playing around with it there and editing the file and just kind of experimenting. I used a library called Tracery for generating data. I'd seen this library in a GDC talk and had been dying to try it out. I hadn't worked with it before, but in short, it basically allows you to declaratively define a grammar, which will recursively fill in any tokens that you set up. It sounds more complicated than it is. It's really int intuitive to use and it's designed very well. And people actually use it for all sorts of things like uh, Twitter bots and game content and generating images even. Check out the links in the description if you're interested in knowing more. Side note, if you've got an open source library and you actually want people to use it, examples, 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 examples. Now that I've got my libraries working, I just need to clean up the data a little bit so that the music I'm generating doesn't sound so terrible. I don't know a lot about music theory, so I just divided the chords up into the A minor slash C scale, also known as the white notes on the piano, into sad, happy, and sassy chords, and I asked for a random one of those. I also created a second grammar for rhythm so things don't sound so samey. Pretty cool, huh? So, uh, what's next? You can create drum parts, you can create melodies, you can create more grammars, you can create that web player, you can make a little app to uh, practice your favorite instrument. Uh, the world is your oyster.